Job Mag Limited. Uh, we'll give a layout update today. The layout has come uh, a long way since the first of the year. Um, this was the New Year's layout, and we had all all the scales we have now, but uh, the Lionel was down below on the control table, whereas the main platform had the uh, HO and N scale. And I had a sort of a carnival on the right hand side just to sort of get all the bells and whistles running. But uh, a few months later, I was working on getting the Lionel up on the uh, main platform. And a month after that, I was had gotten two Lionel loops and uh, the different scales successively stepping upwards so and I was starting to work on the on the mountains and getting the tunnels in and working on an industrial spur sort of placeholder uh, foam to talk about sizes of buildings and that sort of thing and uh, again the HO in the in the middle and the end gauge up at top and the whole thing got a little bit taller and a little bit more steep in that respect, uh, I started looking at Harper's Ferry as a model for uh, what my model railroad uh, town would look like. Uh, here, this is a shot from the uh, the train station, and you can see the steep hills that these buildings are are on. Anyway, uh, so by uh, June, I had finished the mountains in form, and I started working on the town. And here it is, July 26th, and voila, I have my, the door factory, the uh, lights on the offices are different from the ones that they have at the uh, storage doors and the uh, drop-off doors, the, um, it's a little hard to see here, but the uh, there's also some nice detail on the other side too in the loading bay and um, I've also started to work on my own scratch built building this is uh, Max Hardware Supply and uh, I've still got to do a storefront but the uh, so there will be a storefront here this is where the uh, car can come up and drop off. And there'll be, as I said, there'll be a storefront here. And I have an image of my father playing uh, with trains uh, at uh, his father's house, his father's uh, hardware store, which was called Max Hardware. So, uh, kind of a little homage to my father there. And now we have a downtown, which is very exciting. This is the view from from the train tracks here. And I got uh, I put in these lights, which is sort of a I'm slowly getting to maybe novice level of uh, electronics and uh, wiring. I uh, purchased this uh, the MTH uh, Grand Pacific Hotel last week and then uh, there's this guy Alistair Lee who has a uh, sort of you know print out buildings you can print print out the buildings and you know you can be as creative with them as you want um, I just tried them out here these are printed out at O gauge uh, but I think I'm going to you know, go ahead and purchase more that look like this. Uh, you know, that, that kind of detail. And I'm going to use these in the back, right here, add an S gauge so that we can get our view. Don't ever forget the uh, whole point is to have a forced perspective type of situation here where we have our. O gauge in the front, S gauge sort of making the transition, 
and then HO further back, and then finally N gauge with way, way in the back there. N gauge isn't working right now. I got to get that one, uh, lift that one up and over, and s start making uh, the track a little better. And but um, I kind of abandoned work on that so that he could get this done, which is the uh, which is the mountains and the scenery for the O gauge. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with how this is coming out so far. It's uh, taken many months since the last that last video, but uh, you know we're we're making our headway here. Um, also, uh, since then I've purchased some new cars. This is the uh, 6475 Pickle car, post-war, Sunoco post-war tank car, and the Golf 6425 tank car. Also, uh, got the uh, 8473 Coke diesel which um, I'm not really like, I don't really like the product placement, but hey, it's a, it was a gift, so uh, can't be choosers and all that. So uh, this is from uh, Steve, my uh, Steve, my train, train, model train buddy, I guess. And then this is from, this is uh, Jarrett Kerbals. Um, this was a... Uh, one that he said he wasn't using, and I've definitely put it to good use. And it's uh, it, it runs great. It pulls heck of a lot of cars, and I'm really pleased with how it's going. I owe him uh, guitar lessons uh, for this. And then looking back here, I've tried my hand at some weathering on some of these cars. And obviously, uh, this town of uh, Sharpneck is uh, definitely uh, dirty and sooty, and I'm uh, thinking about how to uh, do more weathering. Uh, one of the things I did here was uh, actually weathered these things. They came a lot more pristine. Here's an example. Here's the the uh, S gauge size, and they're a lot more pristine and crisp and so when I do implement them you know, back here uh, I'm gonna have to get them all scuffed up and sootied up but there's a lot of nice scenes starting to uh, sort of become evident here yeah so Working. You have to check that. There should be a light on that uh, thing, and it was working just the other day. I don't see it. Let's take a look. So there. Yeah. Anyway, you can see the detail here is very nice. So 